In a recent video, I showed off the contours effect in DaVinci Resolve. It's a very cool effect, and inside the Fusion page, it only exists of four notes. We went super deep on some complicated but really exciting stuff in the Fusion page, but one thing we didn't touch on in that video was the fact that that effect was built using versions. Versions in Fusion, super powerful. That's what this video is gonna be all about. We're gonna jump right into the Fusion page. I have a super simple node right here where I have a text plus node and then a transform node. Right now, nothing is happening on this transform note at all, but I could always, you know, move this text around, scale it up, anything like that. Now, in the inspector for any node, you'll have the name of the node and then a few icons to the right of that. The first will just be setting the color for that node, which does also change the color in the node tree itself. Nice for labeling, nice for keeping things clean. But besides that, we have a few other ones. The first one is a uh, versions. Um, that's what this video is about. We're gonna skip it for now and then come back. <laughs> Next is the pin. So if I click that and then click back to the text, I will have the text controls. And then also in the inspector, I will still have those transform controls because they are pinned, even though that node isn't selected. Super useful, super useful. Besides that, we do have a lock, which will you know lock all controls on that node if you don't want anything bumped. And then you have a sort of like master undo or reset that will, you know, reset anything done, set that back to normal. Okay, let's talk versions. Versions, pretty uh, useful, but pretty straightforward. If I just move this uh, text over here and click the versions button, uh, this will add this little pop out and we'll have version one, two, three, four, five, six, and it will automatically create number one. If I click over to number two, it will light that up and you'll see two is now selected. And now if I move that over here, that is changing that center parameter. If I go back to version one, hey, it'll be back to where it was on version one, version two, version one, version two. If I go back to version one, I can always right click on version two and click clear. And then uh, if I click on version two, it will create that, but I will have to redo that change. And uh, any number of effects on that node that change, those will be kept in each of those versions. If I wanna come over to four, uh, do something like rotate all of those will be saved. So that's super useful, and especially if you're just like running through ideas, doing the things, you wanna to toggle back and forth real quick between uh, two settings, this is a great way to do it. But that's only the beginning. You can use versions on any node or any group of nodes, which includes macros, which is the system that most of uh, the presets, effects, transitions, templates, all of that are built on. So for instance, I will open up my effects browser. I'm gonna pull in my speed lines preset. And if I preview that, you'll see, hey, we got speed lines, nice. This was a free preset I gave away along with dozens of other free presets. I'll probably drop a link to this one because I'm showing it off in the description. Uh, it's fun, but this is a group of nodes. If I open this up, you can see exactly how I built it, but we're gonna keep this as a group and you'll notice this has custom controls over in the inspector where I can change like the opacity of those, the color, the speed of those, all sorts of fun stuff I packed in here. And even though it isn't there by default, it also has that versions button. If I click that, it will function exactly like it's functioning on an existing node. I'm um, on version one here, I will change that back to white. If I go to version two, increase the line amount, make that you know red instead. If I hop back to version one, hey, we'll be back to all those previous settings. Now, one very important thing. These versions uh, only have the capability of changing the controls in this first panel. This is a group of nodes, so it has tons of stuff, you know, inside the group. But if I were to come to these, like come on to this fast noise, uh, I don't even know what something, if I change like this discontinuous button, that button is not something I have control over on this macro level. So now if I were to hop back to, you know, version two, it would not look like version two did previously because that one setting I changed uh, is not being aff affected by this version control. No matter when I hop back and forth, it's always going to have that same uh, discontinuous uh, uh, control checked, even though it wasn't checked when I initially set those up because uh, again, versions only have control over the published control sort of at this master level. But I can always toggle that off and then all those other things we changed will be there. Versions are a super, super valuable way if you are someone who is creating these presets or titles or templates of adding a lot more functionality. Especially if you're creating a preset that is meant to be customized, you can show off six different ways to customize it and just use these as like built-in presets, super cool. This is how I did presets on my first version of Proto before version two. Now, importantly, if you are creating presets, you have to do this sort of uh, in steps. If I were to drag an existing preset, even if I hopped over to the Fusion page and toggled on that version, uh, which I could toggle back to on the Fusion page, if I go back to the edit page, you won't have that version control. 
unless you were to then hop back into the Fusion page and you know save this setting out somewhere else as a new dot setting file that you could bring in as a preset. You sort of have to create a preset, you know, go through the process of getting that back into Resolve. Then you can add versions, add all that customization after the fact. And then if you save that back out as a new preset, when you bring it back into Resolve, like the contours effect we showed off in the previous video, that will also retain those version controls on the edit page, super useful. Whether you're doing those quick A-B comparisons just in the Fusion page or building out full presets like this, uh, versions, super valuable system inside Resolve. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.